YouTube, welcome to my channel again. And in today's video, we are going to take a complete in-depth look at this 2005 Toyota Innova V VX. So let's get started. Now here is the key for the car. It is just Toyota's normal key design. You can see you have a Toyota logo with a lock and unlock function. So starting up from the front, you can see you have your halogen reflector beam headlights right there. The turn signals right there. Your fog lights are right there. You have your chrome grille with the Toyota badge right in the middle. Another headlight and your fog light right there. Taking a look at the wheel, uh, wheels on this one, we have TO5 65 or 15 ribs or 15 inch aluminum halo rib. You have your turn signal, side turn signal mark, marker right there. Your D40 interpolar badge. Chrome mir mirrors with uh, nothing. You can see you have your chrome door handles. Your fuel filler door is right over here. Coming around to the back, you can see you have your tail lights, your brake lights, your turn signals, and your reverse lights. Toyota Innova badge, the Toyota badge, rear wiper, and your spoiler with the LED third brake light right there. You have your 2.5 liter V badge. So now we are going to check out the interior on this one. So now to, um, now to unlock the car, all you have to do is just put press this button, and the car unlock just like that. So taking the look inside, so first uh, first coming to the steering wheel, it is leather uh, or not leather wrap, it just have a uh, rubberized finish, you can see horn, very loud horn, you can see you have your volume control, um, I guess this is a preset controller, your mode, your info, info, some inf information over here. Over here, you can see you have your secure security indicator, your high beam beam controller, and your mirror right there. Then coming down here, you can see you have your accelerator, brake, and clutch right there. This one have the five-speed manual transmission. Your hood releases right there. Your trunk releases right there. Coming on to the door, every single thing is hard plastic, and the cloth on this one has kind of removed, so it has this brown. Um, Odd, uh, odd finish. Uh, you can see over there. You can see you have your club, and this is, and this thing is removed. You have a wood trim over here with your power door lock, power window lock, and your power window controls. The the door handle does not go all the way through. Um, a cup holder and a water bottle storage area. Your subwoofer is on there. Now taking a look at the gauges, they're very easy to read. You can see you have your tachometer right there. Speedometer into the middle, your temperature gauge up, up, over there, and your fuel gauge down there. You have your air vents right there. You have your turn signal controllers and headlight controller. You can see, and you have a cruise control over here, so that's nice. You go over here, you can see you have your wiper controls and the rear wipers um, operated by this little stock over here. You can see you have your air vent with the same wood trim accent over there. Coming down here, you can see you have your 12 volt power outlet, your parking sensor on and off, a switch to so turn on this power outlet. Over here, you have your ashtray. Now, this is your climate controls. You can see you have your fan, AC, recirculation, which is fresh air, off, auto temperature, your rear defrost, and all the different types of modes. Your hazard button is located right here, your rear defrost. And this is actually an aftermarket pioneer system, and I I will add a picture right here, so you can actually see um, what the real infotainment system looks like in this car. Over here, you can see you have a little heads-up display. This one has the passenger indicator right there. You have it, it can show time over here, and you have your driver information system right there, and it, it shows temperature I guess over here. Now coming over here, you can see you have your 5-speed manual transmission. Okay, you have an e-brake, dual cup holders, a set of armrest that is very big actually. Now coming over here, you can see you have your passenger airbag cover. That all the dash materials is hard plastic and it's going pretty weird. Um, as you can see right there. So that's a lot of weird glove box. Um, it is actually a pretty decent sized glove box and you can actually hold a lot of stuff for example this spray bottle you can just hold it in there so it is pretty big so that's nice uh, more air vents up there so I okay over here you can see you have your um, dimming rear view mirror you have to just flip that little tab over here you can see sun visor with a little storage tray in there you have some in, you have interior lighting right up there 
There's a breath like that. Sunglasses storage area. Sun visors another with thing. Mirror and a car storage area, but there is actually no vanity light on this thing. We have handles on three of the doors, but the driver is left with these two pins for some reason. I don't know. So I guess that pretty much covers the front. So let's go and check out the back. Coming around to the back seat of the Toyota Innova VX. Um, there's actually a lot and lot of legroom. My feet is just comfortable over here. You have your dual map pockets over here and over here. You have a two, you have two cup holders over here. And the door mat is um, carried through the, from the front. You can see the cloth piece which was kind of ripped off from the front right there. So you can see the cloth piece is right there. And there is no set of armrest or anything this on this little thing. So that's no, kind of okay. Over here you can see you have your handles it just fixed in there and you have a code hook right there. Dual air vents up over there, interior lighting and your rear climate controls right there. And the headliner is does feel like a like a paper towel as you can see by the little graining. It does feel kind of cheap though and it sounds pretty hollow. I don't know. So let's go ahead and check out the third row. Now to get access on the third row is pretty easy. All you have to do just go under here, find this little black lever and pull on it so the seat lifts up, holds itself and when you climb on the back seat, um, you have to watch out for your legs and, and then, okay, so it, it's, the seat clips right down. So now there is actually a pretty nice amount of legroom. I thought it would be horrible. But it's not that. You can see my uh, legs are plenty. I'm going to slide another up under the second uh, row seat. You have a cup holder over here. With something in it. There's no armrest or anything like that. So I, I guess you, can, you have to just hold it somewhere over here. You can see you have your handles as well over here. You have your interior lighting right up there. Turns out just like that. You have your rear infotainment system. So let's try. Um, it has kind of problem with that open button, so I'm not going to mess around with that. So sliding up to this side, you can see you have your dual cup holders with an ashtray which they give you. Over here, you can see you have your seat belt, seat belt clips. So now we are going to check out the trunk. Open the cargo bay. I will show you the fuel row. As you can see, it's over here it says diesel, and you have a nice little place to hang your gas cap. So let's close this. And this have kind of a disalignment problem. I don't know why, but whatever. Now to open up the trunk is pretty easy. All you have to do is just find this latch over here. You have to pull the trunk up, just like that. And the trunk raises like right, right. So now taking a look at the cargo bay, it is a pretty substantial cargo bay as you can see. Now behind this, you can see you have your jack and all the necessary tool to change it. And this jack you can actually use for Toyota Hulix as well. So that is pretty cool, I could say. So let's clip this back into place. You can see you have your seat belt clips over here, and there's this uh, tire iron over here. Now, now underneath here you can you will find a spare tire. Now the reverse backup camera is an aftermarket thing, so I'm not going to actually show that. Now these seats actually fold down. All you have to do is just pull on this little lever, and the seat will come tumble forward and then you pull this latch and the seat will actually um, raise like that and you can see you have your hook to um, attach it to the opening handle right there as uh, you can see you have your third row air vents as well and the same uh, this thing could um, the same could do the seat as well now to pull this back up I need to actually climb into the cargo bay so so now to do this, you pull that lever and you have to lift this thing out. But we are, I will do this afterwards, so let's get out of the cargo bay. And to close the trunk, all you have to do is just raise up and bring the trunk down just like that. So you hopefully enjoyed this today's video of in-depth review of Toyota Innova VS. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thank you guys for, or thank you guys so much for watching.